Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll discuss about Unit 11 Profit and Loss Verse 2. Now we solve question number 1. Solve the following questions. Option A. A vegetable seller bought potatoes for 200 rupees. He spent 20 rupees on transport and then sold them for 290 rupees. Find the profit or loss. First, we see cost price of potatoes is 200, 200 rupees and transport charge is 20 rupees. Then we find actual cost price of potatoes. Actual cost of Actual cost price of potato is cost price of potato and transport charges. Then we find actual cost price. So first I write cost price of potato. Is 200 rupees. Then transport charges equal. Transport charges equal 20 rupees. Then we find actual cost price. Actual cost price equal cost price of potato plus transport charge. Equal actual cost price is 220 rupees. Actual cost price of potatoes. Then selling price of potato is 290 rupees. Then we write selling price of potatoes. Selling price of potato is 290 rupees. So cost price is 220 rupees and selling price is 290 rupees. Since selling price is more than cost price, so vegetable seller make a profit. Then we write SP is greater than CP. So you have profit. So profit equal SP minus CP. Here SP is 290 rupees and CP is 220 rupees. Then 290 rupees minus 220 rupees equal 70 rupees. So find his profit or loss. So thus vegetable seller make a profit of 70 rupees. We write thus. Vegetable seller makes a profit. Of 70 rupees. Now we solve another point B. Mr. Gupta bought a car for rupees 40,000. He spent 8,000 for painting it. If he sold a car for 53,000, find his gain or loss. First we see cost price of car is 40,000. And spend, painting charge is 8,000. So actual cost price is 40,000. Then cost price is 48,000. 40, and sold price is 53,000. It is also profit. Because selling price is more than cost price. So first I write cost price of car. Cost price of car equal 40,000. 40,000. And painting charges. Painting charges equal. Equal 8,000 rupees. The unified actual cost price. Actual cost price of car equal. Forty 
फोर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस एट थाउजेंड इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड देन सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ कार एसपी ऑफ कार एसपी ऑफ द कार इज फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज So since your selling price is more than cost price, so it makes a profit. So we write our GSP is greater than CP. So we have profit. Then profit equal. एस पी माइनस सी पी देन हियर एस पी इज फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस हियर सी पी कॉस्ट प्राइस इज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड थर्टी माइनस फाइव फाइव थाउजेंड सो फाइंड इज गेन और लॉस गेन गेन इज फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज सो राइट राइट मिस्टर गुप्ता सो राइट मिस्टर गुप्ता गेन्स फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज मिस्टर गुप्ता मेक्स गेन फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज Now we solve another point C. C. Ramlal purchased a plot for rupees one lakh thirty-five thousand. He constructed a boundary wall around it, which costed him twenty-five thousand five hundred rupees. If he sold the plot for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees, find the gain or loss. First we see cost price is cost price of the plot is one lakh thirty-five thousand. And boundary wall charges each twenty five thousand five hundred. First we add it. Then total is thirty five thousand plus twenty five thousand one lakh sixty thousand five hundred lakh one lakh sixty five thousand five hundred cost price. And sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh nine thousand five hundred rupees. Sold for one lakh Cost price of plot. Cost price of plot is one lakh thirty five thousand. One lakh thirty five thousand. The cost of cost of boundary wall. Cost of boundary wall. Twenty five thousand five hundred rupees. Then you find actual cost price. Actual cost price equal one lakh thirty five thousand plus twenty five thousand five hundred rupees. One lakh sixty thousand. Five hundred rupees. Then selling price, selling price of plot SP of plot SP of plot is one lakh ninety thousand five hundred rupees. As SP is greater than cost price. So we have profit. Then profit equal SP minus CP. Your SP selling price selling price is one lakh ninety thousand five hundred. 
minus cost price cost price is one lakh sixty thousand five hundred five hundred five hundred is zero then thirty ninety minus sixty thirty thirty thousand profit so ramlal gained a profit thirty thousand so ramlal gain profit of thirty thousand rupees now we solve another point d the merchant bought a sofa set for eighteen thousand rupees he sold it to his friend for fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees if the merchant had spent two thousand five hundred on transport find his gain or loss first all see cost price is eighteen thousand and merchant had spent transport charge two thousand five hundred. So actual cost price is eighteen thousand plus two thousand five hundred rupees. Then actual cost price is twenty thousand five hundred rupees. Then selling price selling price is fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. When cost price is more than selling price, it is loss. So we we find it loss. So first we write cost price of sofa set. Cost price of sofa set. Cost price of sofa set is eighteen thousand. And transport charge. Transport charges two thousand five hundred rupees. Then we find actual cost price. Actual cost price equal eighteen thousand plus two thousand five hundred rupees. Twenty thousand five hundred rupees. Then actual cost price is twenty thousand five hundred rupees. Then selling price, SP of sofa set, SP of sofa set is fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. Fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. As CP is greater than SP, we have loss. So we have loss. So we find loss equal CP minus SP. Selling price minus cost price. Your selling price, selling price each. Twenty thousand five hundred rupees minus SP selling price is fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. Then you subtract it fifty seven four four thousand seven hundred fifty rupees. So more than had a loss. So much and had a loss of rupees four thousand seven hundred fifty. Now we solve another point. Next point is a property dealer purchases a house for one lakh fifty thousand. He spent fifteen thousand on repairing the house. After six months, he sold the house for two lakh fifteen thousand. Find again a loss of the property. First of all, see 
cost price is one lakh fifty thousand and repairing charges is fifteen thousand. Then one lakh sixty five thousand actual cost price. And he sold selling price is two lakh fifteen thousand. Your SP is greater than CP, so profit. Has to write cost price of a house. Cost price property lo purchase a house. Cost price of house. One lakh fifty thousand. Then repairing charges. Fifteen thousand. Then we write actual cost price of house. Actual cost price of house. Equal to one lakh fifty thousand plus fifteen rupees. Fifteen thousand. Now we add it. One lakh sixty-five thousand. Then write selling price of SP of house. SP of house equal to two lakh fifteen thousand rupees. Two lakh fifteen thousand rupees. So write since SP is greater than CP. SP is greater than CP. So we have profit. Then profit equal SP minus CP. Here SP is two lakh fifteen thousand, and CP CP actual cost price is one lakh sixty five thousand. Now we subtract it. Five five zero. Then one minus six we cannot subtract it. Eleven minus six is five. Fifty thousand rupees. So property dealer gain a profit of fifty thousand rupees. So property dealer. Gain a profit. Gain a profit of fifty thousand rupees. Thank you.